Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we beat Brawly here at Duford, and we are planning on heading somewhere else here with uh, Mr. Briny. But you know what? I had an epiphany. I've been thinking about things, and I came to the realization that why the fuck do we have a fucking shroomish on our team? Why do I hate Shroomish? You see, Shroomish... Shroomish is just... If you had to think of the worst thing in the world you could ever think of, and then multiply it by ten, and then shit on it, stick it in a bottle of milk, and then fart in it, and give it to a black girl, and then she shoved it up your butt, and it went through your tubes and out your boobs, and then you had to stick barbecue chips in it, and then close it again, and then, like, put it inside of cow feet, and then pee on it, and then give it to the Pope, and have the Pope lick it with his tongue, and then rub his feet that haven't been washed for 24 hours onto it, and then... Wipe your sweat accumulated for 60 days and 60 nights on top of it, and then freeze it, and then unfreeze it three years later, and then eat it, and then throw it up and eat it again, and then let it go through your digestive system and poop it out, and then eat it again, and you had to repeat the eating slash throwing up slash pooping process for five years? That's half the amount that I hate shroomish. That's why. Because that would only be half as bad as having a Shroomish on my team. That is why I hate Shroomish. Any, any, any other, any other brain busters, huh? No. I'm not crazy, that's just, I thought that was obvious, dude. Fucking Shroomish. I mean, come on. What the fuck is that abomination doing on my team? This is my team, and ain't no piece of shit shroomish gonna be on my team. So you know what? We're gonna take matters into our own hands. I don't play that shit, no. No Will Ferrell. I don't give a shit what you name him, how good he is. No shroomish will be on my team. Never again will that ever happen. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this little piece of shit, Will Ferrell. We're gonna deposit his dumb ass. And then, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make it a little more permanent. Because no Shroomish not only has a place on my team, but not even in my fucking box. You understand me, Shroomish? So you know what? Goodbye, Will Ferrell. See ya. Adios, motherfucker. Will Ferrell is released. Good riddance. See ya. Bye. We're done. That's it. That's it for this episode. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to show. That's it. Goodbye, everybody. Feel a disturbance in the force. Young trainer who calls himself Scopey OP. Reveal yourself. I got some to- Whoa! Where the hell am I? Holy shit! Who the fuck are you? I am the Shroomish God. I protect all Shroomish across the land. It has come to my attention that the one that was named Will Ferrell has since passed and it would appear that you killed him willingly. What? That's insane. Where did you hear that? Who told you that? I don't even know where to begin. Okay, yes, I did it. I'm sorry. I did it. I released. I killed Will Ferrell. I am so sorry, but he's a shroomish. No offense. I'm, I just, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please. I will forgive your transgressions in the past of belittling the shroomish name. But know this, trainer, Scopey OP. This killing of Will Ferrell will not stand, and you shall receive a fit punishment. Punishment? You don't mean. No, Shroomish God, please, I will do anything, please, Shroomish God, no! 
You will receive the punishment of bearing the burden of the thing you hate the most in this world. No. No! Yes. You shall bear a new burden of the Pokemon Shroomish. You shall carry it with you always, and you shall use it all the way through until your Pokemon journey ends. I will provide you with this Shroomish. He is the most rejected of our kind. He is the dirtiest, the grossest, and the most foul Shroomish to ever walk the planet. But he is a Shroomish. His name shall be Penance, and it shall serve as your penance for what you have done to Will Ferrell. May you never forget his name, Scopiope. I bid you adieu. And next time we meet, due to your lack of care for Shroomish, believe me, young trainer, it will be your last. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play um, Pokemon Omega Ruby. I've been thinking about things, um, you may or may not have seen the abomination that happened in the previous segment where we released Will Ferrell, our teammate who has been with us. Um, let me just start by saying this, I'm not ashamed of what happened, I'm not. I was not under the influence, I was not drunk, but Shroomish has just always been something that disgusted me and the fact that one was on my team really really bothered me but as i sit here staring out at the sea uh something has came to me and it came to me in a dream and it was the shroomish god the god of shroomishes um my mortal enemy and what he told me was that what i did to will ferrell was very very wrong and i have upset the shroomish god and at this moment there is only one way that i can recompense for it or he will haunt my dreams and that is just not something I can deal with and what I must do is I must use another Shroomish on my team and I must use him throughout the whole game this is my punishment what some might say my penance the Shroomish God's revenge for what I have done to Will Ferrell the Shroomish so lo and behold here he is it is our penance and he is what we are now stuck with for the rest of the game. I must use him, and I must use him to his fullest abilities. So here he is. Penance. Same level as Will Ferrell. This is what we have to deal with. This is what we have to deal with, folks. So that's that. But anyway, this is in a way good news. Because Will Ferrell had an ability called Effect Spore. Which would, you know, randomly put effects into... Pokemon and such when they attacked. Uh, this Penance, however, is a much better Shroomish, even though Shroomish is still cock, um, in that he has the Quick Feed ability, which boosts the speed stat of Pokemon that has a status condition, which in its own may not seem that good. But when he evolves into Breloom, the Quick Feet ability, which is his rare hidden ability, turns into Technician, which if you don't know, it's an amazing ability that is just uh, really, really good with Breloom and works really good with any moves he does have. So, you know, if we're going to have to use a Pokemon that I utterly despise, let's at least make him fucking badass, you know, because this will never happen again in the history. I will never again use a... Sh well, I mean, we can't exactly say that, but... Anyway, he also... Uh, so, oh, by the way, if you don't know what Technician does, uh, the ability, it increases the power of moves which have power of 60 or less by 1.5 times. So any move that is less than 60 or less power gets 1.5 times damage, which, you know, will up it to mega, many more. And uh, Shroomish has a lot of moves like that that also get stabbed. For example, Mock Punch, which is a fighting type move. Also, uh, this move right here, Bullet Seed has a 25 power but it can hit two to five times now a bullet seed is an egg move on shroomish but if you uh 
let me explain a little bit more. When I had to use penance, he was not given to me by the Shroomish God. I was forced to go out there and capture a certain Shroomish that the Shroomish God wanted me to use to show his true potential to me and p probably try to convert me into a Shroomish lover. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, so what I did is I went back to Petalburg Woods and I used the Pokenav. And each time you use the Pokenav to find a certain Pokemon you've caught in the area, for in this case, Shroomish, uh, your Pokenav level goes up and you can see more and more of the Pokemon you're about to encounter. And as you chain them, they have more potential to be better. So the, po the Shroomish that the Shroomish God wanted me to catch had to have the ability Quick Feet and also the Egg Move Bullet Seed because Bullet Seed is a pretty much the best egg move you can have on Shroomish because it's a multiple hit move with Technician on as he evolves into Berloom is pretty much just based as fuck. Plus when you combine that with Quick Feet which turns into a Technician, it's one of the best combinations for Shroomish. It's It makes it Shroomish OP basically. And uh, Quick Feet Bullet Seed Shroomish was not easy to find. I will tell you that. It took me at least three hours. I got my Pokenav level up to like 60 something and just so you know it only goes up one level for each encounter. So anyway here it is. He's also got these moves. He was at level 5 when I caught him. I trained him up to 14 just so there's uh, no incontinuity with our other Will Ferrell RIP. But not really. Rest in shit. RIS. So there it is. Penance our new team member will replace Will Ferrell. As per the Shroomish God this is our Penance. This is it. Anyway in the meantime I believe I don't think anybody else grew a level. Uh, Zigzatool and Ab Zigzatool did. I don't think Treebro grew a level. He might have. I don't know. But anyway, what happened? Uh, some dialogue you did miss is that when you come back to Briny here, he tells you that uh, Mr. Devon called him, and the Devon parts actually need to be delivered to a Captain Stern in Slateport City. So we now have the option to go there, which is to the east here, or he can take us up back north to Petalburg, which is what I did. And then I went there to Petalburg Woods, and that happened. And then I came back here to the cave and trained Penance. So that's where we're at now. Anyway, now that we're all caught up to speed with the intense goings on between the episode, we will uh, put things back in order here. And uh, I'm just keeping Zigzatool. I put Slack off in the box because we don't need him. Zigzatool will keep for cut, and Abra will keep for teleport. It's handy to have. And uh, yeah. So I've thought a little bit about my team, and I do have some ideas of what we're going to do. Um, and a lot of them involve getting based-ass moves that means we have to keep Pokemon at a certain level before they evolve for a while. And also there's one or two of our team members we're not going to get till pretty late in the game, but that's okay. Because it's not like it's before the uh, last badges or anything. So let's talk to Briny, yeah? Oh, I know exactly what you want to say. You've still got to deliver that case to young Stan and Slateport, ain't that so? I'm not sure if that was his voice or not. Yeah, just leave it up to this old sea dog. Way anchors were for Slateport today, Pico. So yeah, now you have the option. We're gonna head near Slateport. Slateport City, is it? Anchors away. Pico was set and sail, my darling. Let's go on a magic adventure. But yeah, so I looked up some Pokemon and I looked up some moves. Uh, so we have a rough plan. We have a rough plan here. But actually, two of our next team members, which will put us to five out of six already, are going to be right here past Slateport on Route 110, the next route. So that's good. Oh, boy, we've made land in Slateport. I suppose you're off to visit Captain Stan and deliver those Devon parts. I would suppose correctly, since that's really all I can do here. But we've made land in Slateport. Is that going to show me what those wind coal were? Wind goal? Not wind coal. Uh, okay, let me try and navigate this here. Let's go to the map. And yeah, so now we're over here in Slateport. Well, we're technically on Route 109, right under Slateport. But yeah, as you can see, this is us right here at 109, and this is Slateport City. This is where we're going to be. So originally we were here in Petalburg. That's Rustboro, Petalburg Woods, and this is where Briny's was. He took us down here to Duford Island, or Duford Town, which is on this island. I would assume it's called Duford Island. Then we head east here, skip all this nonsense, and come up to Slateport. So if we hook a left here after Route 110, you can actually meet back up to Old Ale Town, but as you remember, there's a little watery lake in between, so until we get surf, ain't much we can do to connect back to that, but yeah, we're going to be visiting this whole portion of the map now, and then over here, and then the big water cluster fuck happens. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. But anyway, oh man, you can actually sit on these chairs. That's fucking beautiful. Just sit out here, stare at the ocean. I'm going to start the next episode like that. I'll try to. 
Anyway, there are some uh, Doobie Brothers we can battle here on the beach, so let's do it. I've light anchors and ports around the world, but slate ports are the best. Is it? Where is your boat? You didn't light anchor here. Why do you lie? Why do you lie to me, Sailor Huey? Hey, that's a sailor you fight in gold crystal. Gold silver crystal. Isn't he the one on the boat that uh, blocks you from, like, when you're trying to go to Kanto? He, like, fucks, fucks with it somehow? Alright, so he's got him a chop here. That is bad news for him, because we've got a Yoda. You'd assume they have water Pokemon, right? But no. Anyway, uh, something new about Ralts that I didn't know. I might have seen it before, but upon further investigation, I did learn that uh, Ralts, Curlia, and Gardevoir, Gardevoir sorry, are all uh, Psychic Fairy type now in Gen 6. So that actually adds a lot of greatness to their typing. It's, it's, it's a gift, not a not a curse it is a blessing so um when i was thinking about whether to evolve into galade or actually let's see here if our ralts is a female we can't even get galade so that wouldn't have even been an option but i'm not even sure let's see i think he's i just saw he's a male yep he's a male so we do have the option to go to galade so how it works by the way is you get Curly Yoda to evolve Ralts, sorry, to evolve into Curly at level 20, and then no matter what, male or female, it's going to evolve into Gardevoir at 30. But if you use a Dawnstone when it's a male Curly before level 30, it'll evolve into Gallade. Now, Gallade is Psychic and Fighting type, and Gallade and Gardevoir both have Mega Evolutions, so the question is really just, you know, preference, typing, whatever you like, and I've been kind of fighting with that option now that I know we have both options, like what to do. But uh, I think I might just go with Gardevoir because the Psychic Fairy typing is just better to have, you know, especially because uh, we're already going to have Breloom, which is Grass and Fighting type. So we'll already have a Fighting type on our team. I don't really feel like we'll need it. All right, let's fight some more of these cunts. Sorry, that was too much, maybe? Burp, battled me? Did you just fucking burp before we battled, dude? The insensitivity of this prick. Sailor Edmund. More like Sailor Asshole, Sailor Moon. Go Yoda. It's a wind goal, that background dough. That background gets me so wet it makes me think about boobies and butts. I became shrouded in mist. Or no, wind goal became shrouded in mist. Whoops. Confusion ha! Oh no, Yoda might die. Kill him. Got him. Yeah, that's right. I love the sound of your death. Ooh, Machop. I'm gonna keep battling. Yoda's particularly good against Machops, though he'll probably only two hit KO this guy, so. Uh, let's use in. That's the only healing items I have. Okay, now we're gonna switch then. I definitely need to stock up. Yeah, I sp I, that's the thing, too. When you're chaining, which is what I was doing with the Pokenab to try and get the same Pokemon, because that makes the more rare ones appear when you're chaining. That's how I had to get the Quick Feet Penance here. Uh, when you're doing that, you have to kind of have a Repel up, because otherwise you'll run into other Pokemon and it'll fuck up your chain. So uh, I spent some money on Super Repels. I think about, about 10, 12 of them. And uh, I also had to spend some money on potion and some pokeballs because I had to catch quite a bit of shroomish to uh, see what they had so it might be a little bit lower on money than you remember so this is bullet seed it hits two to five times but you know when you take type effectiveness into account when it starts doing super effective damage it's it's more powerful plus technician will double its power a 50 power move actually it would be 1.5 so it'd be what 30 about 37 and a half power 37 and a half power hitting five times is pretty good especially with stab so it gets another 1.5 so that's i can't even do the math but it's probably around 60 damage per hit 60 damage hitting five times that's amazing you know that's a possibility of shit 60 120 180 240 300 power just it becomes op as fuck and then Mach Punch is even better because it gets the double power and it's a priority move. So it's it's good. 
Okay, uh, that's probably all the people we'll fight down. Oh, also I did, yeah, I ran into some trainers on the way back to Petalburg, or Rustboro to heal from Petalburg when I was doing that. So, what happened is, um, I tried not to level in my main guys too much to keep the continuity the same. But, I'm, I don't know if any of them did end up growing levels. I tried to just level the little shitty guys like, uh, you know, Zigzatool and stuff, slack off. But as you saw, Will Ferrell was level 18 when we got rid of his punk ass, so he had grown a few levels. That's why I knew we were going to get rid of him, so I used him as much as we could, as much as I could. Anyway, we've made land here in Slateport. Let's turn the Pokenav back on. Dexnav. Whatever it is. Anyway, let's go to the Mart. We got, oh, we got a second guy here. Oh, yeah, also, there was a guy in the Rustboro Mart, and I talked to him. He was right here in a suit, and he gave me TM54 False Swipe, so I guess that's cool. Oh, uh, let's see. How are we doing here? We've got seven Pokeballs, one Great Ball, no potions. Super potions are a bit expensive, but, I mean, potions are kind of outclass now, so I'm going to buy five. Uh, not any repels for now. That's fine. We'll deal with the random battles. Man, we are going to need some more balls. So, I'll do that, and that'll break our fucking bank. But what does this guy have to offer? That's the real question. Ooh, X items. Fucking shit. Good. See you. Never talk to you again. Anyway, we've made land here in Slateport, so let's... Oh, there are some Team Magma members over there. That's great. We'll come to that later. This is Stern Shipyard. A sailor capable of sailing in all currents. Okay, that's me. I'll do it. Where do I sign up? So this is where Stern should be. Let's see if we can deliver the parts. Is that the fucker over there? Um, if this goes here and that goes over there, where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Ah, I can't make heads or tails of this. Wow, you sound like a real professional. Hello, buddy. Hmm, you? Oh, sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to drop designs for a ferry. Well, sounds like he hired the wrong guy. Oh, those parts you have, those are the Devon parts. Hmm, this won't do. Like, how does he know I'm holding them? Am I just, like, wearing them on the outside of my fucking body? He's at the Oceanic Museum. Yes, okay, fine. I can't just leave him here, I guess. Look at this forklift, dude. I get seasick real easily, so I help out here instead. Pussy. I'm working here. Oh my god, the revelation of the century. The seasons, the weather, where the moon sits in the sky. These and other conditions make the sea change its expression. That's right, the sea is like a living thing. Well, aren't you just so... Fucking introspective. What is this, a TV built into the wall? What is this, fucking BJ's Bar and Grill? Making a large ship is more like constructing a building than assembling a vehicle. Really. Please tell me more. Oh, buoyancy, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to make fun of things here, but it's actually true. Okay, so that's supposed to be the ship. Uh, you guys have got a long way to go. Maybe if you got to work and stopped sitting here talking to ten-year-olds, you'd get something done! No, I'm just kidding. What's up, buddy? When you, when a, when you sink a man-made object into the sea to make a habitat for Pokemon, it's called an artificial reef. We in Horan are well-known for our reef. We call it Sea Mawville. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You guys sunk something purposely, and now you're trying to spin it into a good thing. It's Sea Mawville. Oh, no, we didn't sink that and, like, destroy a bunch of homes for the critters. That's Seam Auville. It's an artificial reef for the Pokemon. Okay, buddy. Do you know about the Pokeblock kit? I know all about it. Okay, if I say no, will you give me one? Oh, uh, yeah. So this has to do with uh, contests, which you make your Pokemon enter, which is right here, Pokemon Contest. Um, I guess we'll go and they might give us something. Basically, your Pokemon can show off their moves, and you can, con you can, um, there's, like, different trials, like, beauty, coolness, and all that stuff. Different Pokemons, different moves have different things. Um, all you really win is, like, uh, ribbons for your Pokemon, but there's certain Pokemon that actually evolve that way, like Phoebus. Phoebass. But there's another way to evolve Phoebus as well. Oh, the Name Raider's House. Yeah, you can go here and change the nickname of your Pokemon. Which, if... Uh, when Trico evolves, I'm going to do that, but spoiler alert, we're actually going to hold Trico off from evolving a little bit. He evolves at either 16 or 18, and we're going to hold him off to level 21, because then he learns 
Giga Drain, which none of his other evolutions will learn if you just level him up normally. So, and Giga Drain, it's it's special, and um, Skeptile is more better as a physical attacker, but he doesn't learn any really good physical grass moves till later. So it's it's good till then. It's really good. Is this the Oceanic Museum? Yes. Uh, as you saw, there were a bunch of Magma members out here earlier. We could have talked to them, but since we talked to the guy about Captain Stern, they're now all gone. Assumingly inside the museum because they were waiting in line out here. An undersea exploration team, so everyone calls him Captain Stern. Great. That excites me so much to hear that. Oh my god, we're at 21 minutes. Okay. Well, in the next episode, we are going to go here into the Oceanic Museum and see what all these Magma assholes are up to. Probably get into a fight. So... That sounds like fun, starting problems, you know. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.